Hey YouTube, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to test out and review this Clearstream Max V indoor outdoor TV antenna. It runs about $70 and claims reliable reception within 60 miles of the broadcast towers. Before I get into this review, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you are seeing me for the first time. I've been over the air antenna enthusiast since I was five years old and constantly updating my YouTube channel with videos relevant to TV antennas and cord cutting. So if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Looking at the design of the antenna, it seems pretty decent. You have a VHF element here that many indoor antennas lack and two UHF elements here. What is VHF and UHF? VHF has to do with TV stations that broadcast on channels 2 through 13, specifically high VHF for this antenna. And then UHF consists of TV stations that broadcast on channels 14 and above. It's also important to note that most TV stations do not broadcast on the channel number they identify on. So for example, in New York, there's CBS2, NBC4, and Fox5. The average person is just going to see those channel numbers and say, okay, 2, 4, and 5, that's low VHF. But in reality, these TV stations broadcast on the UHF band. The same is true for many TV stations across the country. They do not always broadcast on the channel number that they brand themselves under back from the analog days. To find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on, go to antennaweb.org, type in your address, and look for the RF channel number. The virtual channel is a channel that the station identifies as. So in my market, NBC 28 WBRE. But the RF channel is the channel that they broadcast on. I'm now going to test out this antenna in the same location I've tested out various other indoor antenna models. I'll be testing it out on VHF and UHF TV stations that broadcast about 45 miles from where I am at. Here's a list of the stations along with their RF channels and their signal strengths on the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. On the left side, you'll see the type of diffraction on the TV station. One edge means single edge diffraction or one ridge between me and the transmitter weakening the signal. LOS means line of sight with virtually no obstructions in the way. You can also find the results of various other indoor antenna models including the Clearstream 2 Max and Mohu Leaf by checking out my other videos. The signal strength on WNEP which broadcasts on UHF channel 50 was higher with this antenna compared to the last two antenna models that I tested out. The signal strength on WIOU was about the same on this antenna compared to the ANTOP model that I tested out last week, likely because both of them have about the same size VHF element. Same holds true for WBRE, which broadcasts on VHF channel 11. I got about the same signal with this antenna compared to the ANTOP model, but at least it picked them up compared to some other antennas that were not able to pick it up. The signal strength on Fox 56, which broadcasts on UHF channel 22, was a little bit higher on this model compared to the last two indoor antenna models that I tested out. However, this antenna was not able to pick up the low-powered NJTV repeater station in my area. But then again, most antennas have extreme difficulty picking it up because it's such low power. So overall, this antenna works very well as an indoor model. It performed great on both the UHF and VHF TV stations in my market that some other indoor antennas may have had trouble with or showed lower signal strength. You're free to check out some of my other videos with the other indoor antennas, but overall, this one worked very well. I also like how it doubles as an outdoor antenna. So if you're in the situation where you want to attempt to use an indoor antenna and you purchase this and you're trying everything Everything you can to lock in all stations but you're not able to because the signals are too weak you can then just move the antenna outside you don't have to worry about sending this antenna back and then buying a separate outdoor model this one will double as both an indoor or an outdoor antenna model if you end up deciding to purchase this antenna, I attach three different links on three different websites where you can find this antenna. There are definitely going to be some antenna shortages due to some 
recent events. Hope I don't get in trouble with YouTube for saying that. And if you just search for it on Amazon, there is a chance that it may be sold out or you may only get a used model. Follow the links in the description of my video so that way, if it's not available on one website, you can easily find it on another website. Thanks again for watching my YouTube channel. If you're on Facebook, like my page at facebook.com forward slash antennamanpa. If you are not on Facebook and would like to receive emails on updates that I have with my YouTube channel, feel free to sign up to the email list. I attached a link to that in the description as well. Thanks again for watching as always and have an awesome day.